With the automatic discount app, you can display the savings in your cart page or drawer cart, uh, like these examples for the Brooklyn theme. Um, they were made by us and you can click on them and see what is the code but before going too far I just want to show you I mean why should we had display savings in your Shopify store to display the discount and the updo updated subtotal or total so subtotal discount minus discount equal equals total and that looks pretty nice in your card drawer like in the Brooklyn theme or any other theme that you have in your card page as well or to actually display the discount code that is applied with the savings next to it so how to install it basically you first you have to know in which theme file is your cart or your card drawer most card page are card liquid or card template dot liquid and then you add the following element um, to um, to your, your your team file and before going inside these elements I would suggest you go to the quick fail generator and most of the um, use cases would involve using the discount amount field and here you define what to do if there is no discount code well you hide it or you hide if there's a discount code or you never hide it um, so for example I mean the most logic use case would be to hide the discount amount if there's no discount amount and then you copy to clipboard this snippet which you can then go inside your team and you search for your card template in my case I have the Brooklyn theme and I have enabled the drawer card the sliding card on the right when you had the card that is sliding and it's called the file is called Ajax Ajax card template and you will make a search for example to search where is the subtotal uh, price so you can see that is here so you can add you can simply add um, a new div for example and uh, you can add your span like this this would work and display it but according to each theme you can see the classes how it's built using right item two thirds one third and some some stuff like that so you would need some coding skills to make it look exactly like your theme and in this case we have done uh, something already made for the Brooklyn theme that you can use so you simply go there I'll remove what I did but what I did would have displayed the, the savings the actual amount of the discount but I'll just use this um, and what this code means is that it will hide the discount if there's no discount and it will actually hide the whole thing if there's no discount it will also hide the, the discount word and not only the value of the discount so and 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 uh, I mean it's the same thing for the cart total so if I click save I'll just make sure that I do have uh, a discount already applied or a rule that uh, is applying a discount so yeah I do have one so if I add to cart I should see uh, the subtotal, the discount, and the total, which is a uh, well, obviously subtotal minus discount. And then I can uh, do whatever I want with this. I can style it. I can uh, go there and say, well, I might like to have, um, you know, I don't know, like a style, or you can use a, some CSS class color red. So doing so, I would make this thing being red. So anyway, it's just an example. It, I mean, it might look complicated if you don't have any coding skills, but um, it works nicely, and uh, it's quite easy if you understand the logic. And I think we would make some improvement uh, on the quick fill generator. But I think using this, you can generate the discount amount, the card subtotal, the card total by default or in sense and when you change this value it changes here and you just copy the clipboard and then if you want to dig deeper and if you want to understand every single field that we have you can go see uh, the legend here and everything is explained with example and if you do have some JavaScript and advanced coding skills you can also um, use or, uh, or global JavaScript function to, to, to make it work as well so I think it's pretty complete uh, we'll rework a bit this screen to make it simpler and to put more emphasis on the uh, display saving generator uh, but for now that is it and this is how you can use the display saving I've shown how to do it in the 
drawer card, but you can of course do it in your card page as well.